Hi, Liz. Thank you so much for joining me today. Can you explain your role at Build Central? Hi, Shanice. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I'm Liz Moran. I'm the Vice President of Research here at Build Central, and I oversee all the data that goes into our vertical products. Uh, that's hotel market data, medical construction data, uh, multifamily data, single family data, uh, geospatial energy and mining. Um, I'm not sure if I said medical, but I'll say it again because it's an important one, <laughs> medical construction data. Can you walk us through a typical day in the life of a Build Central researcher? Sure. Yeah, it's a busy one. Um, so there are, you know, metrics to hit each day. And the first is just uncovering leads. And researchers go and find the construction projects that are being planned on those agendas to create a lead. From there, they go ahead and um, enter the project into our database and they uncover the developers, the architects involved with the projects, of course, the project managers for all those companies, their email addresses uh, to make it easy for clients to reach out to the parties involved with the project. Um, and then from there, we have a quality assurance team that comes through and makes sure that the data is accurate, that everything is up to date. They'll see if it requires additional phone calls or additional internet research and from there we'll publish it. Um, so a big part of their day is actually reaching out to the parties involved with the project and confirming that all the data we have is accurate and current. What are some of the most challenging aspects of research work? Uh, so I'll say in the U.S., um, there's a lot of land to cover. It's a very large country. And in the past 20 years or so, there's been a rise in mixed use developments um, as, you know, the population starts to become interested in walkable neighborhoods. We're seeing developments that have a lot of moving parts. So they'll have a residential component, commercial, there might be some civic space, um, parks. And so our role is to kind of suss out which parties are involved with each separate component. Uh, it's not as easy as just having the same developer for the entire mixed use project. There's often different developers and they've got their own teams down to the interior design firm. So we like to say when we interview researchers uh, to come and join our team that if you're interested in puzzles, this is probably a good position for you. Um, it's, you know, trying to make a puzzle um, fit. You've got a parent project, as we like to call the main mixed use project, and then it's child components. And those are separate reports. So we really aim to make uh, the data easy to digest, even though there's a lot going on. So um, hopefully our clients uh, will agree that the data is clear for them and we do spend a lot of time and work making sure that those big developments are presented in an organized way. How do you ensure the data we collect is current and up to date? Yeah, so that involves what I mentioned before, a lot of primary research and calling. And then if people aren't picking up the phone, which nowadays is kind of a, a trend, we reach out via email and we do have a really high success rate of people responding to our messages. Um, we ask, you know, via email for all those data pieces. If there isn't an architect in the project, we ask for it. Um, if there isn't a start date in the report, we ask for it. And it's been really nice to have the cooperation of all these developers, architects, cities, um, and they're providing that information for us. So we get everything straight from the horse's mouth. You know, we we really want to make sure we're giving our clients um, concrete data that's straight from the source. What kind of training do our researchers undergo to maintain high standards? So we have a dedicated training team. When a researcher initially comes on board, it can take about four months for them to become up to speed, uh, learning the industry, and then of course, learning how to work on those more complex projects I spoke about earlier. How do you prioritize which data sources to use or trust? So we really value um, sources that are straight from the municipalities. So I'm based here in Chicago and our planning commission posts their agendas online. And, you know, while there are changes sometimes with those, we feel that it's the most accurate source for getting data. And 
Could you provide any feedback you've received from clients regarding the quality and reliability of our data? Yeah. So what I am always thrilled to learn is that a company won business through our service. Uh, our research team does have quite a bit of interaction with clients through our feature that's called um, Ask a Question. So clients will ask us specific questions on projects and we will dig in and uncover an answer for them within three business days. And they'll often respond to us and say, thank you. You know, because you got me that piece of information, I was able to gain a client through your service. And that's the best feeling. That's what we're here to do. Um, and I, we also, you know, site analytics is a big part of what we provide. So some of our uh, real estate companies will use our residential data to determine where um, commercial activity is going to grow. And so it's kind of fun to learn that we might have a hand in, you know, what new retail is going to be popping up across the country. It's kind of exciting for my team to know that we can sort of influence um, how metros grow. Can you share anything else you think is worth highlighting about our research process? Yeah, um, so we do have a team of reviewers and a big part of their role is just fact checking the data um, that other researchers enter into the database. And I feel like that's one of our strongest assets. You're never going to look at a report that hasn't been looked over by multiple people. Um, I, I think, you know, some companies, some of our competitors might not have that added touch, and I'm very proud of it. I think um, our quality and our accuracy is one of our strongest uh, aspects, and I'm, I'm just really proud of our quality assurance team and the work they do. Um, we audit every um, product, we audit every researcher, and those scores are, are very high, and so I'm really proud of our team. Awesome. Thank you so much, Liz. This was very comprehensive. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, Shanice.